Matt, you were you know just a couple minutes away from kind of the worst case scenario of coming down here. Um, I mean, guess just what are your your initial thoughts on how this weekend went, and, and where do you guys go from here? Well, we have to do a you know a better job um, of finishing around the basket. I thought they did a good job of getting the ball where we needed to be to start the game, and we literally had. Um, Know, six or seven times where the ball's two feet from the basket. We got fouled twice and, and missed three layups and turned it over. And so you can see from A.J. Hammond, you know, he goes seven for nine and two for two, and but he turns the ball over six times. You know, we're getting him the basketball. In the first game this year, you know, we played, he's two for eight. You know, so he's he's got to do a better job of scoring the basketball in there and, and also not turning the ball over. Um, you know, but if you look at his numbers, Jay Simpson's number, we knew from playing them the time before, you know, they played 40 minutes between them and they had 28, 13, and 7 blocks. That's pretty good 40 minutes for your center, um, but yet it should be better. Um, it, it just should. And so we got to get consistent play from him. Um, you look at his numbers, but you always want more from talent. You know, he, he can do more. You know, Ronnie Johnson, um, the ball didn't go down for him today, but he made all of his free throws and he didn't turn the ball over. And I thought he made some really nice passes early on that didn't get credit for assists, but they were, they were good passes. So, you know, we need him to be steady and then our younger guys just to, to come along. But we're going to have to knock down some shots um, to make it look better, make our offense look better. And I always talk about that. You know, our offense um, looks better when, when the ball goes in. But, you know, Sterling Carter hasn't got on track yet. You know, Kendall Stevens struggled, you know, shoot the basketball. And, uh, you know, we need those two guys to knock some things down, knock some shots down. But then just be better on defense. I thought I thought Sienna was was quicker to the ball today for 40 minutes. Um, I, I thought they were better. So we, we were fortunate that we made our free throw. I think if you look at the, the box score, the difference in this game, uh, considering the field goal and the field goal attempts are the same, and they hit a couple more threes than we did, was that we made more free throws. And uh, you know I don't know if we could have said that a couple weeks ago. So I, I think that's a positive for this game. Man, how come you started Basil and how come you had him on the floor at the end of the game? Well, I think Basil gives us a versatile guy um, that can defend and uh, switch ball screens. Him and Eric can both do that. Um, just, I just thought we needed to shake up the lineup. And uh, you know, Rafael Davis, I thought played a lot in the second half, even though you know he didn't start. You know, I, I thought he gave us some, some quality minutes also. But um, you know, we just felt we needed to shake up the lineup. AJ wasn't ready to play um, in that second game. We had to sub him out after one minute, and so um, we got a better performance from him, but. Um, we still need to be more consistent. How do you explain the imbalance between first half and second half standard? If I knew it, I would change it. I have no idea. You know, you watch tape, and it, it, if you're starting off in the first half, it's happening to you, and you're struggling, then you go into the second half like this game, and like the Oklahoma State game, then how do you explain Washington State when you actually you know you play well in the, in the first half? You play good defense, especially in the first half, and you just have a total meltdown and allow Washington State to score 52 points. So, um, you know, we got to get that figured out and uh, just got to get some consistent play. I don't think it's rotations. I don't think it's guys. I just think it's compounding our mistakes. You know, we allow one mistake to lead to the second one to lead to the third one. You know, we got to make a mistake and put it behind us and then get back to just being accountable and doing our job. Those, Coach, those. Ronnie, Ronnie got to the free throw line ten times in that second half. Was that something that you, you had talked to the guys about at halftime to, to attack the basket and try to get to the free throw? Yeah, line? that's what we talked about the whole time. You know, trying to get those guys um, to attack, but be under control. You know, we, we, we shot a lot of contested runners in the previous two games. Uh, we didn't want to take on two or three people. We wanted to get in there and jump stop. I thought Ronnie had a great play where he jump stop late and hit Basil for a layup. Um, so we, we want him to be as aggressive as possible. You see him sometimes in transition when he gets those angles. He, you know, he's hard to handle, but then sometimes he, you know, he tries to take on too many people. Um, so just trying to get him to read when it's there and when it's not there. Um, same with uh, Bryce. I think both those guys um, have such a great ability to break down the defense, uh, but it's got to be a blessing for us. It can't be a curse. You know, we can't take on the world. You know, we got to get angles and take on maybe one extra defender, but you can't take on a couple. How do you explain the, the the problems you guys are having down under the basket as far as just the turnovers? Is it and even the shots leaving on the rim? Is that just bad luck sometimes, or is that a, a bad, well, poor ball, execution? It like the ball kept slipping out of Jay's hands. Even when he made one, it looked like it slipped into the basket. So just being stronger with the basketball, just having a better base. Um, AJ gets upright. If you know, he gets upright instead of getting into an athletic stance when he catches the ball and chinning it. And we got to get him to. 
know, be wider and have a better base. Jay's just got to concentrate. He's got a lot of skills down there, but he's just got to concentrate on catching the basketball and scoring and go to his need moves. And um, But we, we had a lot of opportunities we didn't take advantage of today to have a basketball.